Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. Today is our 24th hidden figure, and today's hidden figure is Marion Croak, who is an, an inventor, excuse me, an engineer, who is currently a vice president of engineering at Google. She has previously served as senior vice president of research and development at AT&T, where she worked on advancing voice over internet protocol technologies, furthering the capabilities of audio and video conferencing. Her work converted voice data into digital signals that could be easily transmitted over the internet rather than using traditional phone lines, making video conferencing and remote work through apps like Zoom possible. Born in 1955 in Pennsylvania, Croak grew up in New York City, where she showed an early interest in engineering. She would follow engineers and plumbers around her house to learn how they fix things. She attended Princeton University and completed her doctoral studies at the University of Southern California in 1982, specializing in social psychology and quantitative analysis. She joined AT&T, then known as Bell Labs, in 1982 with a position in the Human Factors Research Division, looking at how technology could be used to positively impact people's lives. She subsequently went on to work on network engineering, where she examined the potential of digital telecommunications rather than the use of a traditional phone line. She was an early advocate of switching from wired phone technology to wireless internet protocol and holds more than 200 patents. At Bell, she managed more than 2,000 engineers. She pioneered the use of phone network services for donations and text messaging. Her text to donate system for charitable organizations first saw widespread use after Hurricane Katrina. Her technology was also used when AT&T partnered with American Idol to use a text message voting system with 22% of the United States learning how to text in order to use the service. She filed the patent for text-based donations to charity in 2005, and this capability revolutionized how people both text and donate money to charitable organizations. In 2013, Croak was inducted into the Women in Technology Hall of Fame for her work. In 2014, she left AT&T to join Google, where she serves as a vice president for engineering and leads the research center for responsible AI and human-centered technology. Since 2017, she has assumed responsibility for reliability engineering for many Google services and also works on racial justice efforts at Google. She serves on the board of directors of the Center for Holocaust, Human Rights, and Genocide Education, and is a member of the Corporate Advisory Board of the University of Southern California. In 2021, it was announced that she would be one of the first two Black women, along with Patricia Bath, who I also did a Hidden Figures on, to be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. So out of over 600 inventors that have been inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, they will be the first two Black women. And for my quote, I'm quiet, self-reflective, and introspective in my thinking. I like to invent. The decision to enter a male-dominated field didn't cross my mind as odd because no one ever told me that I was different for doing so. The proverbial they never warned me that I was walking into a world where I didn't belong. I was lucky to grow up in a supportive environment. My father built me my very own chemistry lab in our home. And I attended a public New York City high school better known for bars on its windows than its academic performance. But it was wonderful and my teachers understood how to inspire me. There, I decided on two things. I wanted to be challenged and I wanted to do something that would change people's lives. Oh, and I like science. And that is Marion Croak, a hidden figure that basically made it possible for me to be talking to you right now over the internet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be tons of links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time with our next hidden figure. Peace.